Hey, Vonny Vons here with part 3, and also will be the finale to Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Well, the replay of this. Remember, I did this years ago. We're talking 2008. And now we're gonna do one of my favorite stages, Starlight Zone! I absolutely love the music here. Now, if you want to, you can roll into that wall. Which I'm going to attempt, but uh, it didn't work, so. I'm going to ignore that path, but you can go that way. I will get that extra life in a second. By doing that. But Starlight is a very simplistic level. Uh, I find it's not a long level, nor a hard level. And yes, I know I just said long and hard in the same sentence. So all you immature people, uh, get your mind on the gutter. But seriously, uh, it's a good level. Okay, so I guess that's not going to fix itself. Hmm. Well, watch out for the fireballs. That's one thing I will advice I will give you. While a car speeds up and down the road. For no apparent reason. Anyway. Yeah, I recorded this earlier. Uh, earlier tonight when Cole and Elwin went to Niki Banga and Cole over here, we were just hanging out. We, want, we were gonna record Tales of Symphony when we decided not to. And I did record this, but unfortunately, um, I didn't save it right. So luckily I have a bat. I had a backup save. Uh, at the ending of Labyrinth Zone, where we just started this video. So yeah, I made it to Scrap Lane Zone, and then, uh, which is the next zone after this, by the way. And I made it into Act 1, and then I stopped and figured, okay, I'll do a save state. And I made a secondary one, just in case. And when I was doing that, the uh, bandit camp crashed. So, and I wasn't able to recover the, the video. So, yeah, this is take two. And I'm recording this now, right after Cole, Cole and Bono just left. So it's pretty late in the night. It's about, it's roughly 11, 30, 12 o'clock. I do have work in the morning. Uh, but I'm still gonna be quarters anyway. Uh, get this done. So, anyway. Now, when I was doing this originally with Cole and Bang and Colette here, I was not doing commentary on it. Uh, so I was going to la This video was originally gonna be post commentary, but this one's not. So. Hopefully, in the coming weeks, I will get my videos up and running again in about a week's time or so. My incident will be here. Uh, shortly after I finish this LP, I'm probably going to dive right into... Um, shortly after that, maybe Sonic 2. Not right away. Maybe I'll take a week's break from it. Catch up on my other LPs. I want to start getting back into Wind Waker and... Um, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, once I get a couple of videos of that up, then I will probably look at doing Sonic 2, but then of course I also want to get more done on Tomb Raider. And I want to start getting back to work on Watch Games Gods. If you're looking for 50 rings, and we just passed 69, now we're 89, then that's the place you can go. Elevator go up, elevator go down. And, like I said, Starlight is very, very short. Now, at this stage, point in the game, if you do not have all the Chaos Symbols, you're gonna wanna get them now, uh, by the end of this act, which we just did. Because I don't believe you can get the big rings in Scrap Lane. I'm not too sure. I would have to look into that. But I'm pretty sure that you, uh, have to... Do it before the end of Starlight? I can't be too sure. But either way, you should actually have the Chaos Emblems by now, unless you're not good at the special stages. And like I said, I'm not good at the special stages, but somehow, I did manage to get them in this LP flawlessly. So, flawless! Who used to say that? Oh, Layla and Michelle McCool from WWE. Flawless! 
Uh, one of them no longer works for the company, and that would be... The show we're doing. But, uh, Layla's still there. She's a cool... She's not like a, uh, not like a British wrestler. She's no page, but... Uh, oh, okay, that's what happened. Who's now... Well, she's gonna be going up against AJ Lee. Whoa! When is my first death? Damn! So I got killed by a fireball. And yes, I'm leaving in the deaths. I'm not perfect at this game. If I die, I'm going to obviously show it. If I get a game over, which would be, like, real, in Sonic fashion, then I will, uh, not show that and do editing. Huh. I don't think that's gonna happen. Now, this is the path I do believe LP and Glorus also took. It's one of my favorite paths. Uh, I usually try to take this path, then the bottom path. I could go for the superstars, but I think I'm going to decline. Alright. Run, Sonic, run! So yeah, hopefully I can get... And Mario 2D Land has been officially recorded fully. Just have to upload the final episodes. So, by the time we see this though, that will probably be done. But, either way, it's been fun playing this game. No matter how long this video goes today, which is probably going to be about 20-25 minutes give or take, I am finishing this today, including the end credits, which is not that very long anyway. And, uh, yeah, I'm definitely doing that. Why not? The way I see it. Uh, so yeah. Red Bouncer! Oh, if it wasn't for that Red Bouncer, I would have kept my shield. And probably lost it there anyway. Alright, boss time! This guy is... This robot is pretty easy. Two ways of doing this. You can catapult yourself up, or... What the game I think really intends you to do is use the swings. Uh, to throw the spike balls at him. But I'm gonna do a combination of both. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna do a combination of both. Why not? That was easy. That was easy. And there we go, got him with a spike ball. Done and done. So that's it for Starlight Zone. Now let's move on to what could be the last zone of the game, Scrap Brain Zone. The music for Scrap Brain... Oh, yeah. And by the way, I purposely did that. Just I was about to show, tell you that if you go down that uh, hole here, or this one here, you're automatically dead. I purposely killed myself to show you that. And if you think I... You know, I didn't do it on purpose, you got another thing coming. I actually did that on purpose, so that... You would see that if you go down that hole, you actually die. Now I guess the creatures told you that, but some people would not believe me, so I figured, what the hell, let's show it off. And this guy here, he's easy to kill, although LP Grotus had some difficult times with this guy. Um, okay. He did though, when he was facing him in like this game, in this level with Marvel God. Marvel Zone 2, he was having issues trying to kill them, but he always hit the spikes. They're so simplistic to kill. But, you know. Then again, LP Gross is not a really big Sonic person, and really 2D Sonic game. He prefers the newer Sonic games. Now, before I do Sonic 2, I'm probably going to do Sonic Generations first. And I'll tell you why. Because I want to. Uh, that game will probably start. 
after I finish this and 2D land. Then I'll have this two. I'll have. Well, I don't know. I probably might wait a bit. Ooh, that was actually kind of close. Uh, uh, okay, and that time I did not mean to kill myself. But anyway, let's try this again. Let's see go. Okay. That time I did not mean to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> so three deaths in this video. Uh, two uh, two were uh, like accidents, and one was on purpose. I don't know. I think I died more times in this LP than LP bonus actually. Can't be sure. But then again, um, like I said, sometimes in games you die and do some stupid. Plus, I'm not using save states. I'm using a. The Steam version, whereas Gordas was using PS3. Okay, it's okay to come down this way. I don't mind that. Uh, so, yeah, he was playing the PS3 version. But that's kind of cool. Hey! That's not so, this is where I actually just died to. This is where I fell to. But now, we are not going to die. Okay, watch out for the piggies that uh, like to throw their bombs. Okay, as soon as I say that, I pay it to the piggy. Yeah, but it's okay. And I think we're at the end of this zone anyway. Yeah, okay. So that was Act 1. Let's go do Act 2. And Act 3 of this zone is actually kind of interesting. Wait till we get to that though. You can actually really... You can actually get through Act 3 of this zone pretty quickly. And I'm going to show that shortly. I'm going to show that. Uh, oh. So... Hopefully I don't die anymore with this, because I don't want to lose two more lives, because then I will get a game on. Yeah, we don't want that. Now some of you might find that funny if I get a game on, because... I'm always counting on how um, that I'm pretty good at Sonic games, but now it's been a while since I've done this. The so last time I played this game was, I think, for much games, guys, or I can't remember what much games, guys, I played this for, or well, maybe that was Cole that played that. No, well, that was me, I think. Oh yeah, it was me because um, Cole and. Gordis are doing Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and I did Sonic 3 and Knuckles with Cole years ago. So, yeah, I think it was me that did Sonic 1. If I'm right. I could be wrong, I can't remember. But that's for much games. Uh. That's recently for something. No, I think that's why it was much games. Anyway, that's not a good one there. Ooh, that was so close. Thank god I still have a box. Wait, the invincibility frames. Okay. This part here, I'm gonna go down here purposely because there's two ring boxes at that time. So let's try to get this. Now, these are the little tiny platforms that Grotus had trouble with in his LP. But, uh, his was back in Act 1. I don't like these platforms either, so I will try it a few times, and if I don't get it, I will cut. Okay, we're back. So that took, it, uh, took a few seconds to do. I couldn't get it to work. But anyway, watch out for the saw blade too. And I don't know, but I think if you fall off these, it's dead. And we're not going to experiment that. Way. But anyway. Okay, no, there's not this platform server. Ooh, okay. Whoa, I don't want to get close. Down here is a shield. I need some wings. Okay. So instead of going up, we're gonna go down, take a look at the piggies with the bombs. 
God, there's so many stuff. Watch out for the spike chain balls. And the three of them, obviously. And we're done. Okay. Well, Sonic has passed Act 2. And now it's time to get ready for the third act where we take on the final boss. And here we are. We're at the final boss. But wait a sec. There's a freaking shield. Laser me. Barrier. Okay. Now, here's Scrap very school. And here's the shortcut. All you want to do is you want to jump down here before that platform, which is with that. And this is the shortcut. That's going to make this level extremely short. This level reminds me of basically Labyrinth Zone with Purple Water. And instead of having like bayish kind of um, tiles, it's kind of like gray. Now you don't want to go down there, between the holes there, so try that thing. And you don't want to go down there either, you want to jump across. Kill the two little bad nicks here with the drills. Watch out for the two little bad nicks with the drills again. Also get some bubbles. Pardon me for moving like that. Can't remember really what I had for food today, but let's just say. Oh, that wasn't a good place to jump. And there we go. Final, yeah. That's the thing about this game. The last level of the game was actually called Final Zone. They didn't even want to give it a different name, they just called it Final Zone. So this guy is really easy. He will come, two tubes will come down, and he'll be in one of them. So far, two do. And basically, before that, you just want to dodge these electric balls. Stay in the corner, basically. Ooh, three for three. And these are random, by the way. Two robotic will be in. See, he's over there this time. So what you want to do is just, I'm kind of standing there, jump, stand aside. And basically, I'm just going to stay on this side, and it might take a bit longer to kill him. But I'm just going to stay on this side, so I guarantee to basically just not get hurt, not get crushed, and finish him. It. it might take longer, but it's a strategy that, you know, is effective. Works for me, might not work for you. But this works for me. And it's usually what I do with this guy. You can only hit him once, so don't think you can hit him twice when he's there going up and back down. You can only hit him once. Per turn, so it's gonna take at least eight turns, I do believe. Even more, depending on if you move around and things like that. I think we got one more hit possibly too. And there we go, we got him. We got him. So now what you can do is two things here. You can let him go away, or you can hit him. It doesn't change the outcome of the game at the ending, but you can actually hit him. Or let him go. I think when Grotus played it, he didn't hit him. And Cole and Elmer to comment on the video saying you do realize you can't get robotic then. And you can. So forgetting all the chaos symbols, we get the good ending. What's the difference between the good ending and the bad ending? Basically this part is the same. It's what happens at the ending of the credits. Which, you know. So that's Sonic 1 everyone. Uh, we play of Sonic 1, this time I got all the chaos symbols. My original playthrough back in 2000.
2008, I didn't get all the Chaos Cells. I think I missed one or two of them. Uh, maybe three. I don't know. I know I have at least four emeralds, if I'm remembering correctly. My videos were a lot shorter than less than 10 minutes. I think my very first LP video on this channel was uh, Sonic 1, obviously, and it was Green Hill Zone. Uh, act 1, 2, and 3, and it took like 5 minutes, between 5 and 6 minutes, and that was the video. And one person was like, great job for your first video, but, uh, you know, you could have went longer than 6 minutes. And yeah, but the way I was doing that game was I was new to Albion, and I wanted to do a song video, based on what Cordis was doing. Well, yes. But yeah, 3 videos, an average of 20 to 20, anywhere between 20 and 25 minutes, I do believe. And within three videos, this game is done. And I had fun doing this game. It was a lot of fun. I don't remember this part of Splat, uh, Splat Plane. I mean, not Splat Plane. Yeah, Splat Plane. Ever hear of Splat Plane, though? You can Splat. In other words, crush. Which can happen. But anyway, uh, this part I remember. This is like Act 2 or something. Uh, act, yeah, Act 2. Beginning of it. The music's great for this though. I don't know playing the right music with the right zone. But it's okay. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, basically at the ending of the credits here, Eggman would be uh, throwing emeralds for the ones you missed. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I shall see you all in my next LP. Peace out guys. Thanks for watching.